Hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today, I'm very excited to check out Cardline Animals from Bombix. This is for ages 7 plus. For two to eight players, take about 15 minutes to play. And in Cardline Animals, you are going to be trying to put animals in order based on their weight, how long they are, or how soon they die. If you ever played Timelines, it feels a little bit like Timelines. It's a very simple, lightweight game, but is it good? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what's going inside of card line animals. So, first and foremost, we have our handy dandy rule booklet. It's about eight pages, double sided, full color, full of pictures, illustrations, examples. Very well done, should have you up and running in no time at all. It's also a very simple game, so I can teach you how to play right now. So, in card line animals, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to predict how long animals live, or predict how much they weigh, or predict their length. Uh, and you're going to be doing this by putting them either in front of or behind other cards that will already be out on the table. What am I talking about? Let's show you the cards so you know, quickly understand. So first and foremost, let's take a look at one card. So this right here is a rat. On the front side, you're going to see that it is a rat. It's got its fancy name, what kind of animal it is. And then on the back, it's going to have useful information about the animal. So, for instance, you know a rat is 9.8 inches long, which is terrifying. They weigh 14 ounces, and they live about three years. When you first start the game, you're going to have one card in the center, like so. Each player is going to get four cards, or more, depending on how experienced you are. And you're going to put those in front of you, then you're going to have a random pile over here, which you will be drawing from if you get things incorrect. So now, you're going to decide what you want to be playing in this game. Do you want to play with the length of the animals? Do you want to play with the weight of the animals? Or do you want to play how long they live? So we'll just say uh, how long they live. So now what I have to do is I have to take one of my cards and either put it on the left side to say I think it lives longer than three years or the right side to say that I think it lives shorter. So I think uh, Komodo dragons definitely live longer than rats. So I put this right here, flip it over and bada boom, Komodo dragon lives 36 years. Good for me. So let's just pretend that this guy goes, alligators live longer. Yeah, uh, wow, alligators live 80 years. And then we'll put uh, the sea cow, they live in between, yeah, 45, 36. So it gets back to me. So now it's my turn once again. So now I have to put a card either here or here or here or here or here. And it's the same thing. So let's see, I think a sheep lives less than 36 years, but more than three. And I'm correct, it lives 11 years. Now, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be trying to get rid of all your cards. Now, what will happen sometimes is you'll get wrong. So let's just say uh, I'm not the most smart guy, and I think, yeah, you know what? I think Lynx lived less than three years. Put it right here, and oh, no, I'm wrong. So this card goes into the discard pile, and then I draw the new card off the top of the deck, making sure not to look at the back of the card, and then play will continue. So what's going to happen is eventually someone will get rid of all their cards. Now, you play out that entire round, and if only one person has used all their cards, then they are the winner of the game. However, if more than one person uses all their cards, then you will do like a sudden one, uh, one card sudden death. So each player is going to continue to draw one card and then try and play one card. And it'll go kind of like spelling bee format, where if you are able to beat that person on the final round and they don't play the correct card, then you eventually win. But that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to get inside of card line animals. Alrighty then, card line animals from Bombex. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, if you're not in the market for a light, simple, family weight game, this one's not going to be for you because it is a very light, simple game. And in actuality, this is more, this is pretty much just a trivia game. It's just kind of a weirdly done trivia game where you're going to be trying to figure out how much an animal weighs and then poop, put it into the right spot. So if you're not in the market for a trivia game, this one might not be for you. Also, box insert-wise, this really annoys me. There's no room for expansions in this box insert. Time's Up has the same problem. It really drives me crazy that they, they give you this box insert and instead of you know making room for another deck of cards. So that, that does sort of annoy me. Uh, it's a tin. Some people do not like tins. Whatever. Your mileage may vary kind of thing. Now, here's a real con that I have with the game is that if you're playing in a larger game or if you're, even if you're playing with a four- or five-player game, 
if you go first, it's going to be very easy for you to play a card. If you go eighth, it's already going to be difficult to play a card a lot of the time because there's going to be a lot more cards out of the center. So there is a natural advantage to going first or second in this game, especially at the larger player counts, which could be another thing. If you're playing with the larger player counts, it can be incredibly difficult to play those cards, especially when you get towards the end. But, you know, that's that's a minor nitpick. Most, most Everything I have for this game is a minor nitpick. Because moving on to the pros, I really enjoy Cardline Animals. This is a game that I've had immense success with, with gateway gamers, with non-gamers. As a family game, my four-year-old son loves playing this game. As a game that I can bring into my classroom, it just overall is a slam dunk as long as you don't think you're going to play this on your game night. And, I mean, that's the main thing. This is not meant to be a game night game. And for everything else it does, it does it really well. I can't wait to get expansions in the future. Like they have the superhero expansion, they have the dino dinosaur expansion, and I want to just mush them all together like I've done with timelines. But really the question you're probably wondering if you know about timelines is which one of the games do I recommend, Cardline or Timeline? And that's a really hard call for me personally. Um, car Cardline is is going to have more legs it just is because you can do the weight you can do the length you can do uh, how long it lives so essentially you have three different games in the box but that being said you know I feel like timeline still I still have a special spot for timeline just because I feel like that's more how do I put it it's a little bit more oh that's cool it gives you more cool moments I think because while, yes, it's cool to find out, you know, a Komodo dragon lives 36 years, it's even more cool to be like, oh, these two completely unrelated historical events actually happened, you know, a year or two apart. And then I feel like that actually kind of helps you with your history knowledge. Whereas this one, I would say this is less of an educational game because when are you ever really going to need to know how long, you know, a, how long a follow deer is? It's just... It's information, but it's not useful information. Whereas I think timeline, especially if you're playing with, you know, not like, you know, when did CDs and movies come out, can be useful historical information. But I feel like I'm rambling. They're both spectacular. I would just recommend getting both of them, honestly. Cardline Animals, highly recommend this one, as long as you're not looking at this as a game night game. I think if you're a family gamer, this is a great one. I think if you play with a lot of new gamers, this is a great one. I think if you play with a lot of non-gamers, this is a great one. I think if you play with a lot of kids, this is a great one. So, Cardline, uh, Cardline Animals, highly recommend you check this one out if you're in the market for anything aside from a non-gamer night game. If you enjoyed this review, please try to click on that subscribe button down below. In the comments below, let me know what is the animal that you are most similar to? For me personally, I think I would go with a cat. You know, when I'm out in public, you know, I'm not the particularly most friendly guy. Like, I don't go out of my way to say hello to people. Uh, but once I get to know people, it's like I'm all up on you. I'm a very, very friendly, affectionate person. Uh, so I put myself as a cat, you know. But let me know in the comments below <laughs> what animal are you most like. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.